Hey everyone, Cody here. Today we're doing a little Pollock style painting. I'm going to show you a really simple little painting uh, that you can do. And I was actually looking for the other one that I had. I actually had a little like square Pollock style painting, but I don't know where I put it. It's a little drizzle painting. Anyway, 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 anyway. We're gonna go ahead and get into it. So, first off, ooh, it's a little bubble. I wonder if I can rip it off. Sorry, sidetrack. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna base coat red, super simple, and then we're gonna do red and black as the lines. And we're not gonna go crazy. We're not gonna throw it and go nuts with it. Not today, only because I'm wearing good clothes. I don't wanna get them ruined. Um, so we're just gonna drizzle the paint, but I still think it's gonna look kind of cool. I, I did this before, actually did throw the paint, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this paper taped down so it doesn't move on us. Use our masking tape. That's not recommended, but you know, it is what it is. I would recommend painter's tape if you're curious. All right, so we've got one, and get another one down. Hopefully, hopefully your day or night or whatever is going well for you. You know, usually I post these videos about nine o'clock my time, so you probably, if you see them right away, you see them in the morning. But if not, if you're, you know, if you're in, you know, just enjoying a drink at the end of the day, you know, then. Hopefully it was a decent day. You could just kind of sit down, relax, and heck, you could just listen if you didn't want to watch. Anyway, tape that bad boy down. Good to go, good to go. And uh, we're gonna paint the background. We're actually gonna paint it with a paintbrush, believe it or not. And I realized that I said that I was gonna use this in the Requiem of Summer video where I made the big Pollock style painting. I didn't. Um, I realized that afterwards, so I lied to you guys, and I am not a liar, so that was not intentional. Um, also, I did add a few lines afterwards, so I'm going to have to get in and show you that later on. But anyway, 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 let's get into the work. So, let's pop all these bad boys open. Actually, I should probably put gloves on. Now, God bless my wife, I love her. She, uh, she got me some gloves that... Um, I don't think are for men because they're a little slender and I know they say extra long I'm going to show you guys how it, goes. it shows that but uh, I don't think that that's a male glove I think uh, I think she got me some some well I don't want to be sexist so I don't know how to say it maybe feminine I, I don't know they're just really really tight on my hand. So, I don't know. I'm not saying they're ladies' gloves, but uh, this stops here and my, my little webbing's down here, so I don't think they were made for men. But they're great for, I don't, I don't know, it just says messy jobs. Messy jobs, not, uh, not for cleaning. Not for, you know, scrubbing. doesn't say that. It just says it's great for messy jobs. So I guess, uh, I guess you could wear them as a doctor or maybe a murderer. You know, kind of either end of the spectrum. Not, and it's a little morbid, but, you know, you kind of keep your hands clean. Can't leave a print. So, messy jobs. Anyway. Let's go ahead, we're going to pop open this red here, and we're going to base coat the background. We'll just do a simple red. We're not going to do anything crazy. Not tonight. I, I just don't think I got it in me. Not after a long day of work. So we're going to go ahead and paint paint the background. Uh, nice nice red. I, this isn't a bad red. This isn't my, well, it is hot jazz, but I think I, I, think I either added another color or diluted it. Not 100%. Seems as bright as normal. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just crazy. That's probably it. I don't know. 
Who even knows these days? All right, let's get this bad boy on here. Spread that out here. Wow, it's like it's already drying so quickly. Okay, so I ruined this brush. Um, I had it in water, but you can hear it. You hear it? That's like the the cracking of the bristles because they like solidified together. Man, it's so noisy outside. People need to like recognize that I'm trying to paint here. You hear that? They just don't even care. Don't even care that we're painting. Like this is this is our time. It's our time together. How good is it? See? Look at that. So uh Tis, tis, tis. Blatant disregard for the speed limit. Maybe they're going to go on the speed limit. They're just loud. Who knows? Who even knows? I've got paint all over me. They weren't lying. These gloves are definitely for paint. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. It was like foreshadowing because, I mean, it's for a messy job and I've got red all over my hands. So just saying, surgeon, murderer? Who? Hmm? Hmm? Never know. All right. Let me get this wiped off real quick. And then we will go into the drizzle. It's peanut butter drizzle time. All right, so let's crack these bad boys up. I'm gonna pull them over here. Hope you can see the paint cans, where they are. Let's see, yeah, you should be able to. Now, right, crack this bad boy open. I'll set it over there. So extra paint in it and I'm gonna open it eh, we'll open it we'll stir it but then we'll set it off to the side how about that okay put it outside how about that all right set it aside and we've got our handy dandy stir sticks now I did add a little bit of water so I learned I learned my lesson in doing the Pollock style painting for the 1,000 subscribers Requiem of Summer. I learned that I did use too much water. Um, so what I'm going to do in the future, or what I kind of already did, was I just added just a tiny bit of water to the paint that was already in here. Um, instead of like diluting it, I'm just going to add a little tiny bit of water to the paint right out of the can. So I'm just going to add the water as soon as I crack the cans open. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of water to them just to kind of make them a little less thick because um, they're really hard to work with when they're super thick. So I just just gonna thin them down just a, just a tiny bit, just a, just just a smidge, just so that you know they're a little easier to work with. They they'll move a little bit more um, when we're making making paintings. So we're gonna do black because the red isn't super dark. So we can actually go with a dark color. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go to town. So we're just gonna let a little bit drip off, and then we're just gonna kind of just drizzle, just a little drizzle, drizzle. Let a little little bit drip off, and then we're just gonna make some lines here. Just make some lines, and go over here. And this time we'll start this side and there it is and we don't I kind of don't want to go too crazy with it I think I'll do a little, a little drip off we'll do a couple more thin lines here just a few just to kind of really give it some character and just a little bit in the corner and good so we'll just kind of get some of the excess off and that's it done okay so we're going to set that across that we're going to set that bad boy aside and then we're going to get white here and we're going to do the same thing so we're just going to take our paint stick give it a little good stir just to make sure it's all together 
I will drip I off and then just kind of drip it on there. And you can hear my dogs. They don't know how to be quiet. It's like they only want to, they only want to bark when uh, when I'm recording. It's amazing. It's like they have a sixth sense for knowing when I'm recording so that they can bark. Maybe they just hate me. Who knows? It's like you feed them and you take care of them and they just bark and bark and bark. All right. So we're gonna wanna, starting to get a little overpowering with the white. I'm just gonna do a couple more lines of that. Paint right there. And we're gonna leave it. And you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but the paint, uh, the paper is warped. Um, this tends to happen a lot with this watercolor paper. I'm not a big fan of that, but it's okay. So we're gonna just drizzle a few lines over the black. And this is just to kind of give it that, um, that feeling of 3D because then you have the different layers. That's pretty much it. So you can see that it's starting to run. I don't like that. Not a big fan of that. Um, I almost want to let it go. It's like, uh, oh, well, let's peel the paper off or the, the tape. I'll just kind of leave it as it is. Oh no, it ripped! No! Alright, so if you did this on canvas, um, obviously that wouldn't happen. Uh, or if you did it on heavier paper, maybe acrylic paper, I don't know. Probably wouldn't happen. So I don't like that it ran together. That's a little unfortunate. I suppose I could probably use my heat gun here, which I might, maybe I will, I don't even know if it's plugged in, it is, uh, let me go ahead and see if I can get it to stop moving, just kind of hold it in this place to really just kind of coagulate it, uh, to get it to like thicken a little bit, just running over some of the other parts that are moving, although the a little bit of that black and white kind of mixing together is kind of cool. It does look a little, little cool. It kind of gives it uh, like a marble effect, I guess. Just going to run this over back and forth. We don't want to hold it in one spot too long because then it will start to boil the paint. We definitely don't want it to boil. This actually is salvageable. Um, I know that this ripped, but uh, it would probably be framed and matted anyway. And I always, I always notate that in when I sell the painting, like, hey, part of it might be ripped. Um, and sometimes I'll just discount those paintings and just let people know ahead of time. Uh, I don't think I'll probably sell this one just because because of that. But if it was just like a little tiny piece. I would just notate it in the notes just to be forward and honest with people. Um, but it would be covered by a mat anyway, so you wouldn't even see it. So. Pretty good. Just run this over this a little bit more. Just to kind of make sure that that's uh, got a little bit. And out over that. areas again. All right, we're done. So I'm going to set that off. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look here. So that is the final piece. And we'll kind of zoom in. Let's see, can I get it to focus? There we go. That is the final piece, so you can see you know, the lines on it, kind of shiny, so cool. It's almost like uh, spider webs or something, but it reminds me of, of Pollock's painting. Oh, I forget which one it is, I forget the name of it, but he has one where it's all red, 
and then black and white. It kind of reminds me of that. But again, just a simple Pollock style painting you can make using gloss enamel. It's three colors. And surprisingly enough, people like this type of painting. Um, I'm not saying they shouldn't. I think it looks cool. But just to kind of put it in perspective how easy it is to to make this type of painting and you know people enjoy it so anyways uh that's it for the video guys i hope you enjoyed and uh yeah that's pretty much it i'll see you guys in the next one take care bye guys